Satya Nadella in the, in, in, in the year 2017 uh, launched a book called Hit Refresh. Most of you would know it, right? When you read Hit Refresh, you would realize something very interesting. So Satya says that when he became the CEO of Microsoft, one of the most important things that he started doing was he started communicating a lot more often. He did not just sit in his chamber. He started communicating. That's the power of communication and not marketing. Communication builds relationships, not marketing. And that is exactly my message to everyone in this room today. Everyone, stop cribbing about the fact that you don't have enough money to run Google ads, Facebook ads, LinkedIn ads. Trust me, you don't need them. Trust me, you don't need them. And I've shown you numbers. These are real numbers, by the way. You could go on YouTube and search for UnCV and, 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 and you'll find these real numbers. I could, I could send you a screenshot if you want the reality check to happen. And, and of course, it would have increased because when I created this slide, it was about five days back. That's it. That's it. And before I leave the stage, let me give you three very, very simple and very powerful tips on, what, on how to communicate in 59 seconds. Number one, smile. And smile genuinely. On camera, smile. And, and, and don't fake it. When I'm saying smile, like truly smile. It, it, it should come from within you. Number two, forget the fact that when you're sitting in front of a camera, it's your, it's your godly opportunity to market yourself. No, it is not. No, it is not. It is your opportunity to communicate. It is, it is that God sent opportunity for you to sow a seed in the world about what you truly believe in. You know, in, in, in one of the words that Sir just mentioned in his keynote address, Steve Jobs, you know, why every startup in India, every startup in the world today, find me one such startup office or one such co-working space that does not have a Steve Jobs picture? Every office has. Why do they not have a Tim Cook picture? Tim Cook is the current CEO of Apple, we all know that. So why don't people keep a Tim Cook picture, but, but they keep a Steve Jobs picture? Why? Because Steve Jobs created a phenomenal narrative about Apple that still holds true. He did not go on stage and mock it. He said, I believe in the fact that I have created a piece of art. And I believe that. I believe that. Baba Ramdev said, I believe in yoke. Whether you do or not, it does not really matter to me because if consistently day on day on day on day on day on day on day, if I communicate to you, a large part of people will start believing in me. They will. Because I'm, I'm, I'm not shooting you with a gun. I'm only helping you out in something. And when a large enough part of, of, of mass of, of people start believing in you, that belief exponentially spreads. That's all that you need to do. So smile. And once you start smiling, for the next about 50 seconds, just talk. Just talk about something that you truly believe in. It might not be about your venture at all. It might just be about how, about the story of how you ended up buying a MacBook rather than any other laptop. Because you believe, I always say that I actually ended up buying a MacBook many, many years back because I, I believe it's a piece of history that I'm investing in. I, I truly believe that, by the way. Simple. You might not believe that, and that's fine with me. Right? So number one, smile. Number two, every day, communicate. Now imagine, even if you have five employees with you, just five employees, I'm talking about a startup. My team, today we are three people. That's it. Today we are three people. We have six active customers, uh, six actively paying customers, by the way, for the work that we do, right? And, and, and we're decently okay. And what we are ultimately, now I, I'll come to Sir's point, and this is the, the third and the last thing that I'll leave you with. To create a grand narrative, a narrative that truly phenomenally creates breakthroughs in the world, one, put up a smile. Second, believe in what you're saying. Third, have an incredible vision. A vision that, that truly makes someone in, gets, get, get, get inspired by you. And that vision could be anything. For me, that vision is that I want to build 59 second as the most thrilling, the most engaging, the most honest new media company in the world. It's as simple as that. And I know for a fact it will happen. It will happen the day we have one million people speaking on 59 second videos. Whether they hire us or not doesn't matter. But whenever they would use the word 59 second because we own the trademark, they will reach out to us. 
That is the power of these three simple things. Your smile, your belief, and your ability to put a, put a, put a simple camera in front of you and make magic happen. That's about it. Thank you so much for, for bearing me. The time is over, I know. And, um, and um, please, please, and please again, stop marketing this way onwards. That's my message to you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Before we uh, let Paritosh go, any questions? Of course. Oh, yes. Sir. Hi, I'm a digital marketer myself, and I help yes. businesses to use the medium of internet <laughs> to reach the customers. Sure. All right. So, uh, what, one of the main challenges, like everyone is battling for your attention. Like, okay, and the attention span is very short, and the, you are actually bang on that, like uh, 59 seconds. But at the same time, everyone is battling for your attention. And also, when you are actually uh, communicating this way, and your yeah. personality, your, the way you articulate, your communication skill, yep. it all makes a big difference. And sure. there are uh, people, you know, who may not be having sure. your kind of personality, sure. your kind of yeah. smile, and you are, yeah. you sure. are very handsome, by sure. the way. Thank you. And, <laughs> and it, all, it all depends on uh, too many factors like that. Sure. And how do you actually help a business? Incredible uh, question. All right. It, it actually does not depend on any of these factors. Trust me on that. Um, and, and, and I'll come to you with an example. So one of the companies that we work with is an AR, VR, uh, 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 you know, augmented reality, virtual reality company based out of New Delhi. They're in fact one of Asia's largest AR, VR companies. Now imagine uh, when we went to the founder and when he hired us to do this for him, um, you know, he said, Paritosh, I want to talk about AR, VR. I want to talk about Similanis. That's the name of the company. I said, no, we won't. And what we did was we reached out to one of his interns she, and, and, and this, is a, this is a girl from Banasthali Vidyapeet University. It's a, it's a female-only university, um, uh, 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 some distance from, it's, a, it's in Rajasthan, by the way, some distance from Delhi, right? So she was very conscious about standing in front of the camera and, and speaking something. You know, how we do it is simple. Before we, before, of course, once a customer hires us, what we do is this. We spend the first 10 days with him, her, or his, or her team to create a narrative. And... What we do is we spend those 10 days to break through, to, to break your, your thought process. Wo jo, um, sorry, I, I came on to Hindi, but is Hindi okay in the room? Okay, cool. So I, I, I'll keep it English, okay? So, so hum wo das din use karte hain to, wo jo itne saalo se jama hua hai na aapke andar, that thought, ki yaar, um, mujhe, I have to present my level best in front of the camera. I have to be the best in front of the camera. No, you don't have to be the best in front of the camera. Who said that? No, my video was not the best looking video in the world. It still gets 17 hours of, of, of viewership time on YouTube without I spending a single goddamn penny. It doesn't matter to me if goddamn as a word goes on, on video and, and Satish um, you know, puts it up on YouTube. It will only work for me. What I'm tr trying to say is this. Your face, your articulation of course matters and that's where we come in. We actually help people say that, hey, one, you have to break this thought process. Let me give you another example and I think this will be very powerful for the room. In November of 2017, we were hired by, by, okay, I could probably take name. We were hired by Duracell. Duracell, the battery company, a lot of you would know it, okay? So Duracell's global marketing team sits out of Singapore, and, and, and we were hired to, to, to spend two days with them to just create this breakthrough. Now, the challenge with the global marketing team there was that, look, we are a battery company. We are such a disengaged product because I'm sure none of you would suddenly wake up one morning and say, ah, today I feel like buying a battery. Of course not. Right, we don't do that, right? So, uh, uh, and that's their challenge. They are saying that uh, that after Warren Buffett bought over Duracell from PNG, they're saying, how do we then market ourselves? I I spent two days with them, and I said, do not market yourselves. That's precisely where you're wrong. And number two, stop stop calling yourself a battery company. You're not. What you are actually is a company that has created a piece of hardware that ultimately powers every digital device on the planet that is related to your health, that is your smartphone, that is your car, everything that's connected. The billions of devices, you are empowering them, you're powering them. Imagine the possibilities. Now, what they are actually doing is exactly this. They're now creating videos on not their battery, they're now actually creating videos and a lot of content which I can't share, but, um, but, 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 but they're, they're now reaching out to, to their customers a lot more personally because they have one of their competitors as, as Energizer, you know, which, which, which they want to break through with. 
Right? So, so, so just to answer your question once again and for, for everyone in the room, you don't need to be good looking. I am not, trust me. Um, uh, you, know, you don't need to be, to be the most articulate person in the room. What you need to be is honest, disciplined, with a smile, believe in your belief, my belief. Even if you say 59 seconds is a piece of shit, it doesn't, it doesn't, I, I, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me at all. Trust me on that. Right? What matters to me is, it works, it gets me money in the bank. Simple. Thank you, Parito. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much.